Welcome back, first timers. You guys absolutely loved the first time we did a week's worth of reviews on Clean Eats Meals. And we're back to do it again. We got their whole week's meal plan and we're gonna test them out just for you guys. Every day, we're each gonna try one meal and give you guys our honest opinion. If you're not familiar with Clean Eats, they have over a hundred locations around the United States. They're known for their weekly meal plans, but they also have a dining cafe. I want to mention we are not sponsored by Clean Eats at all, but ever since we first did the review on their meal service, we have been using them pretty consistently for the last year. Anytime we're traveling to make videos or camping, or we have really tight schedules that week, we use these so we don't have to meal prep, we don't have to prep our food, we can pop them in the microwave, heat and eat and we're on our way. Each week they have an entirely different menu. They have five standard meals every week that are on a rotating schedule and then they also have usually one or two breakfast meals that you can also purchase as well as premium meals that if you want to pay a little bit extra you can get ones that are a little bit more premium. It's a meal prep service that you don't have to subscribe to so you're able to buy them when you need them and you don't buy them when you don't. They also have a delivery service where they'll ship the frozen ones right to your house. Speaking of frozen ones, they also have huge freezers throughout the restaurant where you can pick and choose and mix and match the meals based on what they have available. Not only do they have the standard meals, but they also have low carb, keto friendly, vegetarian, gluten free, high protein. They have meals that really meet anybody's dietary needs and restrictions. What's great about these, they also label all the macros. So carbohydrates, protein, fat, calories, all the important information is labeled right on these. And what's also cool is they make them fresh in the restaurant every week. So it's not like you're getting something packaged with a lot of preservatives and then frozen. The ones that we get are usually the fresh ones. And if we don't eat them all, we pop them in the freezer and they're good for about six months in the freezer. But we've never had any that lasted that long because we eat them. And so this week we saw the menu. It was a really cool new menu that we hadn't seen. So we thought, let's get everything and try them for you. Terry's gonna let you know the ones we got for this week. They have five standard meals for this week. And we also ordered one of their breakfast. The breakfast that we got were the bacon, cheese, and egg bites with a waffle, which looks really good. We got the steak fajitas. We also got jerk chicken mac and cheese and a Cuban bowl. And then for tonight, we're gonna have the umami chicken bowl and the ancho chicken pasta. All you gotta do is heat these up in the microwave for a couple minutes and we're ready to eat. So I got the umami chicken bowl and that one has 459 calories, 52 grams of carbohydrates, 29 grams of protein and 15 grams of fat. There's a lightly breaded chicken with an umami sauce, edamame, carrots, broccoli on a bed of rice. And man, it smells good. <laughs> it looks pretty fresh. I went with the ancho chicken pasta. This one has 495 calories, 19 grams of fat, 26 grams of protein, and 55 carbs. And it is, again, a breaded chicken with an ancho sauce on some pasta with some broccoli. Which one do you want to start with? The ancho? Yeah. So the chicken also, ooh, there's like a creamy sauce in that Looks pasta. Like maybe like mac and cheesy, maybe? Maybe like an Alfredo? That's a good sauce. And one thing they do really, really well is their pasta. You'd think that microwaving might make it soggy or weird. It still has a nice al dente bite. They're not squishy or soggy or anything like that. Man, that sauce is good. And it's a little spicy. Yeah, the chicken is really, is really tender. Breading's nice, but it does have a little kick to it. Nothing too crazy, but a little bit of a kick. That pasta is good though. Mm. It's got their like queso mac and cheese flavor mm -hmm. going on. That's a good sauce. Mm -hmm. That's a really good sauce. It is spicy, but it has a sweet spice to it. Yeah, the broccoli's fresh, nice bite to it. There's no sauce, there's no special flavors on the broccoli. The broccoli is sweet, it's got a good flavor to it. Again, it's not squishy. It's cooked just perfectly so that when you do heat it up, it just gets a little bit tender, but still got a nice crunch to it. I really like that one. That's, that's like, that's that's a, like a nine out of 10 for me. Yeah, yeah, that's a winner. Now it's time for the umami chicken bowl. I'm gonna try the carrots and edamame. I'm going in with the chicken again first. The edamame, really nice. Still has that nice bite on the casing. Flavor's good, not squishy. The carrots, nice pop to them. And the broccoli, 
Same as before. It's fresh, like a nice, simple steamed broccoli. Again, the chicken's moist. It's got a good breading. It's similar to the ancho, but definitely more Asian -y flavored. Definitely the same chicken, different sauce. Mm -hmm. There's a little ginger to it, a little Asian flair. The rice is really good. It's not too hard. Now, if you watched our previous video when we did a review on Clean Eats, one of the biggest knocks I had for them was their rice. Being a rice connoisseur, <laughs> I know a lot about rice, but back when we did the review then, their rice wasn't that good, but everything else made up for it. Since then, they've stepped up their rice game. It is pretty dang good rice. Maybe they figured out the rice finger. <laughs> they might They might have figured out the rice finger. I really like that ancho. Yeah. I'd say nine, nine, five. This one, I mean, pretty close, maybe a little, maybe just a scotch down. These are delicious. You can't go wrong with either no. one of these. So we're gonna finish these up and we'll see you back tomorrow with two more meals. We're back for day two of our Clean Eats meal plan review. Today I've got the jerk chicken mac and cheese. It has 435 calories, seven grams of fat, 34 grams of protein, and 59 grams of carbs. A lot of protein packed in here. And I'm rocking the Cuban bowl. It has 537 calories, 29 grams of fat, 34 grams of protein, and 35 grams of carbohydrates. Cubans are a pretty popular sandwich around this area. Did you know that? They are. I mean, Florida, Miami, we're not close to Miami, but we're in Florida. And I've, I don't know if I've ever had a Cuban. Maybe once. Really? I know they're pretty mustard forward and I can smell the mustard already. Yeah. It's, it's kicking. It was a new, exciting looking menu item. So we want to give it a try. Terry's going with one that we haven't tried ever before. The jerk chicken. It's got their mac and cheese in there, so really, how bad could it be? And you're getting a lot of that five spice. You can smell that rich Jamaican scent. It looks pretty good. Let's dive into it. Let's try this jerk chicken. I think that's a plantain you got right there. Yes, so the Jamaican comes with a side of plantains. I'm going right for the chicken. Ooh. It's sweet. It's a little soft, but I think that's to be expected with plantains. Yeah. But it's a lot of good flavor on there. So it's grilled chicken this time. Yesterday we had the breaded chicken. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit drier, but still really good. A lot of flavor, a lot of flavor. Not a whole lot of heat, just a tiny bit in the back of your throat. They got all of the five spices. <laughs> yeah, every, and every last <clears throat> one of them. Ooh, it's sweet, but spicy too. The noodles are great as always, but man, there's a little heat there. <clears throat> a little back burn. Try the noodles. And I do like this one because it is chopped chicken, but it's not breaded. So yeah. if you're trying to watch some of that breading, this is a really good one to go with. And it packs a lot of flavor. Try the plantain. I think you'll like that. It's okay. Yeah? Yeah. It is I would squishy. say it's probably my least favorite part of this bowl. Really? My favorite part is the mac and cheese because I love their mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. But the chicken's really flavorful and pretty tender for grilled microwave chicken. I think the plantain's really good. It offsets some of that mm -hmm. spice because the spice is... It's there. I think that one's a pretty exciting one. Yeah. So if you're getting flavor fatigue from some of the other ones, this one would shake that up for sure. Yeah, definitely packed with flavor. Now this is the one I know Terry is the least excited about because it's covered in mustard. There's waffle fries, mustard, there's cheese, there's pulled pork. Sweet potato fries. I'm gonna start with the fry. Okay, I'll do the same. Surprisingly not as mustard board as I thought it was gonna be. There is mustard clearly, and there's pickles so you get that tang. But the sweet potato fries are actually really sweet. Mm -hmm. A little squishy. But, but not mushy. Not, yeah. So there's, there's, they still have good form. They have a nice flavor to them. I, I do think if you were gonna do the fries in the air fryer, maybe that would be a yeah. little bit take them better. Out, take them out and yeah. pick them up separately. Make them a little crispy. Now, heated up pickles, I actually don't like when you reheat pickles. Like anyone, not just Terry, but just in general, <laughs> like on the burgers, I always take the pickles off if I reheat a burger. But we heated it up as is, and so I'm going to try that hot pickle. Sounds crunchy. It is crunchy, squishy, and hot. If you don't like hot pickles, take them off before you heat them up, because I don't like that. Let's go with this pork, but there's cheese on there, right? It's a pretty big helping of pork. Pork, cheese, oh boy. mustard. Oh boy, that's good. That's pretty good. It's a little on the sour side, but I think that's how a Cuban's supposed to taste. Yeah, it does have the tang from the pickles and the mustard. It's not as mustard forward as I was afraid it might be, because they packed a lot of mustard on there. It's really good, actually. Try it with the french fry. When you get it all together. Mm -hmm. The sweetness from the waffle fry really does cut that tangy sourness of the pork. Mm -hmm. 
but together it's a really fun complicated dance of flavors yeah this one if you eat separately it's a little bit too much of extreme flavors but when you put them together into the perfect bite you get the contrasting flavors you get the sweetness from the potato mm -hmm. the tanginess from the pickles and a little bit of the sourness too so and the creaminess of cheese give that one a mix before you eat it if you like cuban flavors i bet you would like this mm -hmm. the jamaican i think it would be hard not to like yeah i think almost anybody would like that unless you are completely adverse to any type of spices both of these are exciting we've never seen them on their menu before and like yeah. we mentioned the menu changes all the time and then we see new menu items periodically throughout the rotations but this was one of the weeks where we saw all kinds of new ones if you're looking to spice your meal prepping up these two are pretty good definitely full of flavor you won't get bored of these and we'll see you back tomorrow for the last two we are back for day three where we're going to be trying the fifth and sixth meal offerings for this week i'm going to be doing the bacon and egg cheese bites that comes with a waffle this one has 569 calories 29 grams of fat 23 grams of protein and 54 grams of carbohydrates i'm going to be doing the steak fajitas we've had these before but they look a little bit different this time so excited to check these out this one has a sauce on top which the previous version of the fajita didn't have a creamy sauce on top and this one has 286 calories so pretty low on the calories 10 grams of fat 25 grams of protein and 24 grams of carbs but i bet if you leave off those tortillas you could probably cut a little of the carb out the biggest complaint we had for the fajita meal before was that the corn tortilla was so crumbly that it just fell apart and so we we're hoping maybe to avoid that this time but we didn't <laughs> just as crumbly just from heating it up it kind of kind of crumbled so we're gonna just eat it with a fork today let's start with breakfast it's the most important meal of the day right yes these egg bites look like pretty decent size and then they have the bacon and cheese inside but the waffle is just wow fulling smells <laughs> in the kitchen it smells really good thank you so they look fluffy looks good mm -hmm. oftentimes microwavable eggs aren't that good so we'll see how they did with this that's pretty good not bad pretty good flavor a little salty i think that bacon is really shining through yeah the egg consistency is kind of like an egg muffin not an egg mcmuffin but like a muffin shaped egg it's it's okay it tastes like when you pre-make eggs at home in like muffin tins and then you reheat them yeah because that's probably exactly what they did i've had their scrambled eggs and i seem to like that a lot more than this i'm i'm not sure i'm might just be a personal preference on texture mm. But the flavor's there. Flavor's great, but the texture of reheated eggs, maybe it's just not what I'm looking for. But but these waffles, back to that. Let's cut that. Is that a chocolate chip waffle? Sure smells like it. We heated this up for two minutes, which is prescribed for the other meals when they're fresh. Maybe we went a little too long. Maybe, maybe. with maybe this is more of like a minute and a half. But these waffles smell good. They smell super sweet. chocolate chippy for sure i do think two minutes is too much for this meal i agree because i think the waffles are a little bit overdone the texture is probably user error i would have backed it off about 30 seconds but the flavor of the waffle is really really good mm -hmm. it's really sweet it's like crispy mm -hmm. and soft at the same time very sweet that chocolate chip really gives it a nice extra kick of flavor so you don't need any syrup or butter or anything like that it's literally ready to go i wouldn't add anything extra to that the waffles surprisingly good mm -hmm. and not having to add any syrup or butter or anything really makes the meal plan a meal plan you don't have to yeah. add you don't have to bring anything with you it's completely self-contained now for the final meal it's the steak fajita this one smells delicious this meal looks great yeah huge chunks of steak there's vegetables in there there's a sauce crumbly tortilla we're gonna, no, not we're gonna that. pass on the tortillas there might be an option sometimes you can substitute things like rice for cauliflower rice or extra vegetables i don't know if that's a substitution for the tortillas or not but there's some zucchini in here nice sauce i'll try the zucchini I like to start with the vegetables you know me meat first mm -hmm. mm. i was really worried that the zucchini would be super squishy because reheated zucchini can get like that especially when it's in a sauce but no it has a nice crisp bite great flavor that sauce is really good i wish this was over rice mm-hmm rather yeah. than a tortilla agreed and that steak looks pretty good it's super tender mm. flavorful smoky just a tiny bit of heat 
Barely, but just, mm -hmm. just a touch. This is a really good meal. I do like this. Now, we use these for lunch, typically, or when we're traveling. But if you're doing it for dinner, we found that it works a little bit better if you have a side salad with it. Because most of them don't really exceed 500 calories, which is probably good for most people for a meal. But I'm an eater. <laughs> so having that extra side salad helps to kind of bolster the meal. But for lunch, or if you're traveling, this is a perfect meal. Definitely the perfect size for lunch. And this fills me up till dinner time. Like we mentioned before, we are not sponsored. But I do want to tell you about a deal that would really help you out and we really enjoyed when we were first trying these out. If you go online and you pre-order your meal plan, make sure you put that you're going to pay in store. And if you're using a new email or ordering for the first time, you'll get 50% off on your initial order. So if you're on the fence on trying these, especially if price is an issue, if you're a first timer, use your email, order it online, pay in store, and then you get 50% off your entire order for up to 10 meals. We used that when we were first trying out and mm -hmm. it really is a great value. But even now that we're paying full price, we're pretty hooked and we, we always come yeah. back to them. It's a great way to try it out without having to spend a lot of money right up front. If you're concerned, you might not like it. But if you like this video, check out this video right here where we ate an entire other week of Clean Eats meals. Or this video right here where we tried a whole bunch of food from the cafe menu and gave you our honest opinion. Thanks again for following along in this episode and join us next time when we try something else new for the first time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. First timer. High five. Is it recording? Yeah. <laughs>